Hi. I'm here. Except not yet. Hold on. Okay, now I'm here. Uh, hey, I'm here. I'm here. Uh, so, last couple days were kind of a shit show, um, to say the least. Uh, as I mentioned last time, I, I skipped streaming Thursday and then I came back Friday, because my weekend kind of got cancelled. Um, and then when I was here Friday, I was kind of dancing around the whole problem that I said I was having. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why I said why I was trying to be so secretive about it. I have a toothache. I have an impacted uh, wisdom tooth, lower left in my mouth, and uh, it is painful. It has got it has made the gum around it start swelling. It's not good. I'm in a lot of pain, and unfortunately, the earliest I could see a dentist is this Friday, and that's just to make an appointment to get it removed. It's not even to get it removed. It sucks, but I figured that it's. Being kept under control enough with painkillers, so at the very least I could finish streaming Ultra Despair Girls this week, and maybe do something else. I don't know. We'll have to see how up to it I am. Beating this game is really the only thing I had planned for this week. I thought it was going to be a lot longer than it is, but we'll see. Uh, after I finish this, if I'm up to it, I might stream something else this week. We'll, we'll see. And uh, the game I have planned for Halloween, I'll still do. I don't know if, like, I, best case scenario... I go to the dentist Friday, and they tell me, okay, come back Monday, and we'll take the, the tooth out. That'd be great. I probably won't be able to stream for about two days, starting the day of the surgery. It technically is surgery, because it's not. It's it's impacted, so it needs the gum needs to be cut open. <clears throat> it's not just an extraction, unfortunately, which is why this is so annoying to take out and get rid of. Um, but with any luck, it would happen immediately, and I'd be back like November 2nd. If the removal happens after that, I'll still start the game, or if it happens before that, I'm still gonna do the game I have planned for Halloween, I just might not do it on Halloween itself, it depends. Um, we'll have to see. I might, I was even considering starting it this week, but I'm just like, uh, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I don't wanna make too many plans for this week, just because I'm still kind of, I'm, I'm like, I'm in pain. There's very clear pain happening here, but, again, I'm, I'm keeping it under control. I figured it's better than taking the whole week off and doing nothing, because... I, I already wasted my entire weekend sleeping, pretty much, trying to, like, sleep off the pain, and it didn't really work, so I'm, I'm already upset that I missed the bonus stream I was gonna do, so maybe that'll be something I do this week. We'll see. Anyway, time for some loud noises here. Okay. So it's been a couple minutes. By that, I mean, like, 60 times 60 times... Well, I guess 60 mm. times 60. Um... <clears throat> There's another Monokuma machine over there. So we're in chapter 4. Uh, there are 5 chapters plus an epilogue. We beat 3 of the kids so far. One of them did not die because we stopped them from it. And then the 4th kid pulled us away and was like, We're, ma we're making you leave because uh, I'd rather you just leave alive. Live alive? I'd rather you just leave alive and let us uh, make our utopia rather than stick around here and uh, just continue to fuck with our plans. So... Don't know if I believe him. Part of me doesn't. Nice battery. I mean, a large part of me doesn't. But, uh, we're here. I have no paralyzed bullets. We're kind of low on ammo. But, uh, yeah. We should be good. I looked up where... I looked up a walkthrough. And I think out of, like, 16 parts that the person did, which were 20 minutes each, I'm on, like, part 12. So... This might be completable in like about four hours or so, so I'm suspecting this will be done, but this should be done tomorrow. If I stream tomorrow, which I should. And then maybe I'll move on to something else, I don't know. But again, clearing this game is the only priority this week for streams. And then after that, wow, he just took off like a rocket. And then after that, my, uh, my priority is um, both doing the next game I have planned for next week, and then hopefully surviving getting that wisdom tooth just yanked out of my head. And my, and my gums cut open to get the tooth out. Hey, EV2, how you doing? This way. Sound level's nominal. Uh, wait. Frames? Undropped. Good. I actually restarted my computer before doing the stream. Just because it's been like f three days since I last streamed. I was like, I should just restart the computer preemptively. Just to stop any, uh... Any frame drops? This is it. 
<clears throat> See, if my voice sounds a little weird, my, my way of speaking sounds a little awkward, it's just because I'm trying not to talk too much on the left side of my mouth. Because, uh, it is quite... It is quite Spears. painful. It's this painful when I'm- it's painful when this gum is being stimulated. Go through here, and you can get outside the town. Yeah, that's a trap. Oh, she's getting your wisdom to the move. Sucks had four mine taken out at the same time. Hey, at least you got all you're taking care of. I got rid of one about a decade ago, because it was all chipped and broken. Now I have to get rid of another one, and honestly, if I could get the other three out, or the other two out, I would. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be possible, though. I'll see. Again, I'm going to go get a consultation uh, this Friday and figure out what we want to do. I really wish I could have just done it and gotten it removed this week because I'm going out this weekend, and now I have to kind of just deal with having to use painkillers all weekend, and I'm not looking forward to that. I already have to use painkillers this whole week. Killers, zippy. Blah. What are you doing? Hurry up and leave. Hey, what's the holdup? If you just go through here, you'll be outside of the city. Didn't you want to run away? Didn't you want to escape this town? Th that's right, that's... what I've always wanted. At least that's... what I thought. Toko, is it really okay for me to go? D do whatever you want. It has nothing to do with me. Not anymore. Oh my. Seems like I made it just in time. Cool. <clears throat> Man, that was close. Truly a last minute save. You? Why are you here? Why am I here? To persuade her to stay, of course. So that our boring and common protagonist who has no distinct characteristics doesn't just quit. Huh? Komaru Naeki, though you are normal, not an ultimate, or even a Not an ultimate. He said that's kind of weird. do think quite poorly of the idea that you would abandon your friend and run off alone. Hey, Ephraim. Are you really going to just run away like this? Is your conscience clear? Stop it! What are you saying? She's about to leave for good! So yeah, because of all that, uh, I am labeling this week of streams, and possibly the start of next week, uh, the toothache arc. <laughs> because this is pain. I, I am actually in pain right now, but I I figure this is better than sitting around doing nothing. That would be quite bothersome for me, you know? That is why I must convince her to stay. Huh? It would be disappointing if she did not see the game through to the end. How it was meant to be. D don't just go speaking your mind without permission! You're a Nothing servant. removed at 14. I wish I had gotten them removed back then. Your paradise. This girl cannot stay here. So then I must ask, which is more important to the warriors of hope? Paradise or the game? Wh what are you talking about? It's obviously... The game, of course. What? You're a smart one. You must be at least vaguely aware. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sneaking about. You could have openly proposed a halt to these slayings to focus entirely on building paradise. And the reason you did not do exactly that, and are instead going behind their backs, is because you realize your favorite Miss Mage would choose the game over paradise. Do you know what you call someone who behaves like you're behaving? A traitor. A traitor. Oh, I got it. You're wrong. I care about them more than anyone. They all have high hopes for me. I mean, I am the leader. Nagisa, isn't it best if you just calm down a little? You can leave the rest to me. Ugh. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't do that. I think you should. Damn it! That's right. People who are not needed in this scene should go and make their exit. What are you talking about? I must admit, I am a little disappointed. When I heard that she was his little sister... His was little sister? His... Makoto? Do you know him? Nah. Now listen, since I've planned the game out this far, I would like it to be completed. Of course, perhaps I am being somewhat unfair to you, Komaru. Rather, the one who disappointed me is Togo. Huh? 
She's from the first game and I'm from the second. I'm so no, much better than her. I am mistaken, but I believe we made a promise. You were to escort her to headquarters. Promise? Es escort? W what are you talking about? Oh, I really think it should be Toko who answers that question. Oh, he was in contact with Toko before. To be silent. The story cannot progress, so I will speak. I made a deal with Toko. If she escorts you to the children's main base, I will release Byakuya Togami. Consider it exchanging hostages. The plan was to trade you and Byakuya. What? What are you talking about? And it was such a good deal, too. Why did it have to come to this? That's a lie, right? You're lying right now, aren't you? You're just making it up! If you believe it to be a lie, think back on when you two first met. When you first arrived at the hospital on your parachute, did you know why Toko turned up there? She came to save you because she was told where you would be landing. How else could you possibly explain such a contrived encounter? The reason Toko has been your companion through all this was because of her deal with me. Lies! You're lying! I went through considerable trouble making sure you would complete this little game. Returning the hacking gun you had lost. Having the Monokuma kids leave the items. Ah! It was, it was all him, him the whole time. Kids, as they say. You've thought about it before, I'm sure. Why enemies conveniently drop items. Why the path you must travel on to advance is always clear. The game began as a way for the children to have fun, but it was also a game to help you grow. And I am the one who made it that way. Why me? Hmm? You mean, why was I so particular about choosing you? Well, that is all your brother's fault, of course. Makoto? He defeated Junko and Oshima, the one I truly hate. And I wasn't there to witness it. So That's I took her hand. This time around, I wanted to see the action up close. And not only that, unlike him, an ultimate, you are a normal girl who can't do anything. That was particularly compelling. Her brother, a hero, the symbol of hope. The little sister, utterly boring by comparison. If someone like you were to stand against despair, that would bring hope to the people. <laughs> I was actually thinking about MGS5's entire character invented to explain the item drops in. Yeah. Well, no, I don't think... I don't think it was, um... I, I don't think the whole thing with um, with that character wasn't because he was he was dropping the items for Snake. I think he was sent as a cleaner to, to like, follow Snake. And I don't know. I can't remember. It's, it's, it's a lot of a lot of details of MGS Five are hazy to me. I gotta play more MGS games. I've played one. I've played one in, uh, Metal Gear One and Two, Solid One and Three. I have two. I haven't played it. I haven't played four. I haven't played five. See, so, like I, I feel like I, I feel like at this point going back to five for me would be such a step down, just because I've played much better open world games. Five was revolutionary for the time, but man. uh... So many games have done it better since then. I'm not really sure what the game is implying. The game was implying that that character was essentially following Snake. Not necessarily, like, immediately behind him. Yeah, essentially he was a cleaner. He just removed the bodies. Any Anyone that Snake killed during that mission, essentially, that character covered all that shit up. And at some point during all that, it drove him nuts. I think. I can't remember. I don't remember his backstory that well. I just remember that he he says he I remember that he rides in the car with uh with with Venom at one point while a song plays and then he goes such a lust for revenge who is responsible who But anyway I was talking about how bullets you find are always your most used gun I don't know maybe that was supposed to be him I'm not sure <coughs> Oh I shouldn't have done that Hope is exclusively found on the side of the weak, the losing side. People are touched by underdog stories, slaying Goliath, 
the weaker team winning a game. The majority of society is made up of the weak and untalented. They are inspired by such tales. What are you saying? If my assumptions are correct, you will release a light even brighter than his. And in order for that to happen, I need you to participate in my game. Through the game, you will grow, defeat the final boss, and become the hope for this town. That's why it would be quite disappointing if you give up halfway through. I mean, that is that does track to his uh, behavior. Oh God! Show me your dazzling light of hope. That, that's even more terrifying looking in this game. What, what do you mean? I'm hope. I don't understand what you mean at all. Ah, uh, I see. So you still don't understand. I blame myself. I should have been more enthusiastic. But regardless, I truly do believe in you. No matter how big the despair, hope will always. What is this camera win. movement? That is why I feel no remorse becoming despair myself. You, you're just as crazy as those kids. You must be insane. Who cares about me? The more important thing is what you two are going to do now. I mean. Now that Toko's lie has been uncovered. Toko, please, just tell me the truth. What he's saying, it's a lie, right? That I'm gonna be traded for Biakia, and you've been lying this whole time. That's, that's gotta be a lie, right? Yeah, just say it's a lie and let's move on. Answer me, Toko! Who would actually want to save someone like you? Of course it's not a lie. What? All this time I was protecting you and cheering you up. It was all for the sake of Master Byakuya. Toko. That's right. I was deceiving you. And you just kept relying on me. Toko! Toko! Uh, trusting me like an idiot. It's your fault. I... I believed in you. Well, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. Why would you believe in me? I have a split personality with a serial killer. I'm abnormal. All my life, nobody even tried to trust me. It's always been like that. That's why I've never had a problem lying to people. But regardless, why do you believe in someone like me? I don't know. From the very start, I hated you. Just being with you was insufferable. Lies. It's all lies. I'm not lying. It's the truth. I'm I not you lying. Start. You were a fool not to realize it. You're just a stupid idiot who got set up by the coward Toko Fukawa. Simple as that. I guess this is what they meant by Ultra Despair Girls. Don't you think that maybe your ranting isn't healthy? You bought Persona 5 Royal for the Switch. You had 16 bucks in gold points. Nice. Runs well, like everyone says it does. Yeah, I've seen the. I, I saw the opening. I haven't played it yet. I'm probably not gonna play it for a long time. I've played Persona 5 already. I just don't have the like energy to go through it again. A longer ver. Like I said, it was already a long game to begin with. I don't have the patience to go do a longer version. I just wanted it. Speaking of collecting things, I got another. Uh, I finally got the last uh, X2 or the last X Digimon device today. That's on sale in America. So now I have the red, the blue, the silver, and the gold. Now I just have to wait for the uh, for the X3s to come out here, and I can complete my collection. I have so many Digimon now. Five version 20, it's four Xs, a Pendulum Z2, the Vital Bracelet, an original V1, and a uh, and I guess a Tamagotchi if you want to count that. Plus a D3. Digimon, so they're like, they're like the virtual pets, like the little ones that they, they sold back in the 90s, mid-90s. They recently, in the last couple years, came out with like a bunch of like upgraded versions of them that have like save files and like many, many more Digimon than the original ones. And I've just been collecting them because they're pretty cheap. They're like, they're like 20 bucks each, full price. They often go on sale too. So I've been making a collection of them. And uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat because when I was a kid, I remember like getting one was like, Holy crap, this thing's awesome. I'm gonna play with it for days and days. And now it's like, oh, I could spend pocket money on these and, and get like 20 of them. <laughs> I 
I have over 10 right now, and I'm, I'm gonna get at least two more, and then I'll probably be done. I'm not even playing, I'm not even, like, actually playing with them. Most of them still have their battery tabs in them. I just have them, like, displayed, and they're really nice. Like my Amiibo. Uh, and what else? I got, I got some other goodies coming, too. Uh, oh, I got an interesting plushie. You no, know, I heard Digimon Next World Next Order is coming to Switch port. Yes, it is. Uh, next year. It's getting ported to the Switch and PC. Uh, and I believe it's coming out in, in English. Which I think it already did on PS4. Uh, but yeah. Speaking of, uh, if... If I don't... If, if Assuming that streams continue the way they are, and I don't, um... What's up with the Nagito's ear? Damn. Why does it look so weird? Like, bulging out on the side. Um, if streams go the way they, the way they, I expect them to, and I end up with some spare time before Sonic comes out, I may do a couple days, um, where I just do Digimon Survive to try to make some progress in it, since it's been in hiatus for a couple weeks now. If you put it like that, she will be even more motivated to leave you behind. Yeah, the Switch is turning into a Digimon machine. All modern games are coming to it. You've got to try harder. Biakuya is important to you, right? Your husband jokes that you love anything with the little critters. Hey, they're nice. Pokemon's great, too. Oh, shit. Persona moment, yeah. I won't let you escape, Kamaru Nayagi. It would be troublesome if you did not play your role. Ah, shit. My hacking gun should be able to... If you don't get serious, I'm seriously gonna kill you! Okay, that didn't do anything. Defeat me. You'll never be able to leave this town. What are help. you doing? Stop! You oh my god, she cut my skirt off! To what? Survive, you have to sacrifice something. Whether it's school or the outside world, it's all the same. Why? What do I have to do? Oh, I see. When she okay, so when she goes up there to heal, I have to. Uh... All right. So as long as I knock it back, she's not gonna get the battery. There we go. This is some boss fight. <laughs> if you don't get serious, I'm seriously gonna kill you. you. What? You've done already. Eh. What are you doing? It's not actually damaging Stop. me. It's knocking my clothes off. Oh god. Okay, let's just keep our distance here. Oh, she's damaging me right now. Oh no. Even with the hacking gun, uh. Komaru should be easily outmatched by Toko. Ah. No, 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 no. Keep moving away from the screen, please. Oh god, please. Oh, that, wow, that counted as taking, uh, counted as experience. Okay, now my clothes are back. Fun fact, this part of the game is hard for you because I would spam Toko in cases where I had trouble, but uh, as you can see, you get to fight Toko, yeah. Are your clothes your health? Not normally, no. Normally you just take damage. This was like a special thing for this fight because she was swinging uh, scissors at me. Ah, uh, that was uncomfortable. Alright, hey Toxie, and hey Verbatim, how you doing? 
Please, no more of that. Telco. Oh, I lost consciousness. That means I must have lost. If that's the case, I can't stop you now. <coughs> Ooh. Hurry up and run. Toothache. What are you doing? If you don't hurry, next time I really will take you by force. You did it on purpose, didn't you? You lost on purpose. Huh? You lost on purpose so you can let me go. Right? Yeah, you weren't really you trying too hard. Me and attacking me without warning? It was an act, wasn't it? So that I wouldn't hesitate to leave you here. What are you talking about? Why would you think that? Don't treat me like an idiot. I already know you're much stronger than I am. We've been together all this time. Toko, why? If things stayed the same, you never would have made a move, would you? You always made me decide. You didn't do anything on your own. So you wanted to give me a chance? I was with you all this time, you know? I... I know you well, too. And also, listening to this crazy idiot's orders just makes You played a Kiva Strip call. Dead and Undressed? No, I know what that kind of game is, though. I've seen- I've seen that game in action. Like, you- it's like a- it's like a brawler, and then you beat people by tearing off their clothes. But are you really okay with this? If Miss Komaru runs away, the safety of the hostage cannot be guaranteed. Well, personally, it's for the sake of the game. Byakuya Togami is important to you, is he not? Then allow mm -hmm. me to lend a hand. See, you'll still make it if you go now. Togo! Don't go near me! That's Pepper. You two share knowledge. You don't share memories, correct? So then, you have no idea who the real enemy is. An honest mistake, I should Idiot! <laughs> it's no mistake. What I share with her isn't just knowledge. She and I also share emotions. If we didn't, there's no way we both love Master. I'm waiting to defeat a vampire, yeah. And my emotions are telling me this. To kill you and let Dekomaru escape. And you're something of a pretty boy yourself, so I can kill you as I like. No remorse. Ah, I see. So you've decided to stop taking advantage of Komaru Naegi. Is that friendship? Huh? To travel the harsher path for the sake wop, of protecting your Such beautiful friendship. I truly think it's a splendid thing. But aren't you a serial killer? You're an aberrant who has no problem taking lives to aberrant. satiate your own lusts. For someone like that to say things like friendship or friends, do you not find it strange? Or even shameful? A real maverick. <laughs> Just rip his intestines out. Unfortunately, he's a central character in two, so he definitely does not die here. What are you doing? Let go! No, I won't! I mean, you made a promise with Byakuya, right? 
You said you won't kill anyone anymore. If you keep your promise, you can be an official member of Future Foundation. That's why you... You just can't. I never thought of... of you or Toko as abnormal, not even one bit. You're just a little strange, that's all. And even so, you are important to me. You and I are friends now, no matter what happens. You're a precious friend and I won't let you do this! You know... <laughs> you're probably wasting your time. I mean, after all... She knows she needs to kill me. But Beyond she won't. Maria's life is in danger as long as I am alive. If she breaks the promise we made and lets you escape... <laughs> Stay. If that's how it is, if I stay in the city and go with her, then it's fine, right? <laughs> hey! You know what the hell you're talking about? You were crying and whining about escaping earlier, remember? You know what? You change your mind? I still want to escape! I'm still scared! Even now, but you feel the same way, don't you? You were scared too, but you tried to help me escape. And hid how afraid you really were inside, didn't you? There's no way I can run now, leaving you behind! As expected. You just don't get it. I betrayed you. I betrayed you, you know? No, no you didn't! And you're suffering from guilt, aren't you? If you're hurting... You can tell me. I'm an unreliable, normal girl who can't do anything. But... I can at least do normal things, right? And it's normal for a friend to help a friend. I'll... stay. No matter how much you say no, I will definitely stay with you, alright? I've... decided. Man, so annoying. All that lip service talk that I hate, so damn irritating. Anybody can just say something. In that case, I'm a great detective, an astronaut, a reporter, and a Terra super beauty. <sighs> and besides, you have absolutely no idea what I'm really like. What do you mean? There's no way I'd say no. Huh? Rather... <laughs> Thanks. Toko! <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> oh. So, um, about what just happened... It... it's alright. I kind of figured out what was happening. Huh? Really? Friend? <laughs> the last time I was called that was in a dream I had in grade school. That's pretty depressing. <laughs> she looks well, so you're fucked actually up. actually one of many friends that I have, so you don't have to take it that seriously. You bring that up now? Let me have this moment a bit longer, jeez! <laughs> well, guess it turned out so all right. So not funny! If Komaru Naegi had run away, the hope of this city would have gone with her. To prevent that, a wound like this will not diminish Look, my Look, he resolve. wet his pants. Though with it with blood. Hurt. It's time you started talking. How do we release Master Byakuya? All you have to do is defeat the final boss. You saved the princess after defeating the final boss, right? In theory. In theory? I was not the only one who came up with the plan to take you to the children's base. I have a partner, but I'm not sure what they are planning, to be honest. Who is that? There's no way I would tell you that. I have already been disqualified from the game, but it'll be all right. No matter what kind of despair awaits you, hope will overcome it. The deeper and darker the despair, the brighter and more powerful the hope born from it. Yeah, you're crazy, all right. Mm-hmm. You are seriously disgusting. You're like 
three steps below vomit in a toilet. Anyway, what about vomit in the ball pit? All you need to do is progress forward. Step inside and take a shit. Until the very end. So in order to get back Byakuya, we need to stop the children's rioting, right? Then... I'll do it. There's no other choice. It can't be right, helped. Toko? But... Are you sure you can do this? But your husband, a 12-foot skeleton from Home Depot, came in today, but your husband's gonna open it tomorrow because he just got home an hour ago from work and he went to bed two hours ago. It's for our anniversary and his birthday. Nice! There's no way I can accept leaving you behind. Thanks We're not you. decorating for Halloween this year at my house. That. We don't really do it at all anymore. Maybe I'm not really attached to this town, but I will save my friend. Kamaru. Oh, and one more thing. I have a little hint for you. The building the children are using as a headquarters is called Toa Hills. Marching in there with just the two of you would be a bit suicidal. Monokumas have dug in all around Toa Hills. Even you two would have trouble with that many. Then what do we need to do? Well, we could ask for help. From Shirakuma and Haichi. Their help? They want to stop the children as much as we do. Shirakuma said it too. If we work together, everyone can be saved. And everyone's happy, right? What? Where did that come from? Now's not the time for heroics. But I think you and I can do it. It's going to be all right. Uh, such splendid growth. Your world has gradually grown wider. Has expanded wider. his little sister. My judgment was indeed correct. Ah, that reminds me. The resistance base is in the sewers underground, correct? In that case, there should be an entrance to the subway if you go through the business district. As I recall, there was a blue building. If you move through there, you'll reach the base. You're sending us on a pretty specific path. Is this also part of your scheme? I would prefer that you think of it as support. It is information that will help you. Well, it doesn't matter what you're scheming. Master and Kamaru, I'll protect them both, even if it takes my life. Someone brought up past defeat despair. Okay, actually, that's a great example right there. Someone brought up how uh, this game, the series treats the phrases despair and hope like like physical objects. That's it. Just a little longer. Just a little longer, and that light of hope will swallow the despair of this place. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh no, another robot. <laughs> so upset over something like this. You really are a child. I need some bullets. Thank you. Huh? Saying it so plainly like that. It's actually kind of refreshing. Yeah, for me too. I've never really thanked anyone before. Okay, that sounds like a problem. Wait. <laughs> There's a subway entrance at the blue building in the business district, right? Yeah, we need to get there for now. Took only three batteries in the battle with Kamaro here. Yeah. What? What do you want? Well, because she didn't have my buff. <laughs> she didn't have Kamaro's buff on hand. I challenge you to a treasure hunt. You look like a dummy, so I'll be nice and give you a hint. The treasure box is drawn on the map. There are three letters on, on the treasure box, X, T, and L. The odd box with a letter that looks like L has an X, but is, is... Wait. The odd box with a letter that looks like L, but has an X, is the real one. That's it. End of hint. QED. Wish you the best of luck. 
There are three letters written in the treasure box, X, T, and L. <laughs> huh. You can't seriously be thinking, weren't we going to the subway station? Well, either way, do whatever you want. Challenge start. I'm fed up with going to the subway. Didn't we already go there before? <laughs> we should be going for something more like a woman's ultimate happiness. You could think about your marriage to Biafia later. Okay, it's time we go that way. So, uh, battery would be nice, though. Could it be that the letters have something to do with the paths drawn here? You look really pumped for this. Oh, those are the treasure boxes. Oh, I'm supposed to use detect on them. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, paralyzed bullets, perfect. Just what I need. Oh my god, look how many chests there are. Okay, next is down that way. I'm right on top of a chest. Makes no sense. Is it the blue building? Yeah, it is. Too late for a tutorial. It appears you have obtained Burn. Burn is a truth bullet that, you know, burns off a Monokuma's generator device. It has a high rate of fire, so it's perfect for shooting at enemies who move swiftly. It's downright awesome against those beast Monokumas. I think it would also be really good against enemies who are running straight at you. Go try it out. Beaming. Oh, we got a lot of those. Oh, it rapid fires. Well, that's not right. Uh oh. That Monokuma is flying? Okay, we're getting pretty far from the whole bear concept here. Combat veteran, nice.
think that means I've, I've encountered every type of Monokuma at this point. Uh, okay, so next is... Hmm, wait a minute. Oh, okay, those chests are not in the exact position. There we go. Exact position. What the heck are you doing? Yo! I shot you multiple times there. Nope, no, 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 need that. Start playing smarter. That's me. That's me right now with my toothache. That's the noise I make. Where the hell is it? I have a feeling there's a hint for this alphabet problem hidden in the map. I see. Uh, I messed up again. Just give it up already. I don't mind its experience. And get that experience booster ability is so broken. I've leveled up many, many times since I've gotten it. <laughs> Come to think of it, did I get any more abilities I never equipped? Quick fire, super precision shot. Super precision shot's too slow. I don't like keeping that equipped. Precision shot is okay. Um, yeah, no, I just have nine SP that I'm not using. There's a Monokuma down there. exciting part of this game. Walking. I said as I stopped walking to look at my phone for a moment. <laughs> I already went this way, right? There was a chest that way that I already... Yeah, I already opened that. I mean, there's chests down there, too. I was gonna say, what? There's a loading zone here. this way. This arcade machine is everywhere, isn't it? Battery? Nope. Bullet. The shield ones are everywhere. It'd be a shame to miss defeating some. <laughs> It'd be a sh real shame if you missed some. Paralyze and move bullets, okay. 
Oh my god, look at this. Okay. Destroy them all with electricity. So there's one plain Monokuma in the middle. Nine shield Monokumas. And three hologram machines. What does it mean? That one's not facing anything, though. That Monokuma's not facing, uh... Anyone in particular. Okay. I think I know what to do. Okay, move those. That one. None of the ones in the back are moving, though. Yeah, those guys in the back just aren't moving. Maybe they're far enough to be hit with Paralyze. I don't know. Because it does travel. Yep, it did. It killed them all. Okay. Or not. Didn't kill that one! Oh, what? That was kind of lame. Killed them all with electricity too. That's bullshit. I won that. Can't let the me can't let the second one move as far as possible. I don't understand. Oh, there's water on the floor. God damn it. I didn't realize there was water on the floor. Ah. Ooh. Money, money, money. Super studying technique learned. What the hell? Also, you see me fumbling with the controls in that room? I like forgot what to press for a bit. Super studying technique. EXP obtained greatly increases. Well, I mean, I'm already... I've already got more SP than I need, so I might as well just put it on. We're leveling up like every two seconds now. Still missing one, uh... bullet. Out the way. There's a lot of small Japanese style bars. Can you drink alcohol, Toko? 
Or are you underage? Jeez, no need to bring up such a touchy subject. Why do they dance around it? Like, we know how old Toko is, kinda. Like, we know she's probably an adult at this point. <laughs> Bruh, yeah. Hey. Okay, that's the right way to go. I want to go the wrong way first. This way. Alright, I can bling out that bullet. Hold on. Burn. Combustion. Okay. Well, right now we have a lot of ammo for it. We don't really need to increase that. I think the effect is what we should be focusing on here. So, putting that up to 75 would be good. 62. Furiously. Ornately. 84. And it raises the SH to 40. There. All excellence. Perfect. Have too much to read, doing I hate how this entire midterms is holy shit. Wait. I hate how stupid... Oh, you, you went back to a uh, class? I thought you finished. Oh, oh, oh. You meant voting. Whoops. I should have known. My brother and I uh, did our things on. We, we filled it out and then we mailed. We didn't mail it, but we went to the ballot box directly. War between Despair and Toa is near. It has been rumored that a full-on war between the Ultimate Despairs and Toa Group is drawing near. Ever since the incident, Toa Group has been doing everything it can to counteract the Despair. We can't really know what they're thinking, but the Ultimate Despairs didn't attack Toa Group in Toa City. But it's hard to imagine that will be the case forever. The stalemate can't continue. It's only a matter of time until the Ultimate Despairs show their true colors. Before then, we dearly hope this incident is over. Vote by mail is nice. I, I could do it by mail, but we insist on going to the box anyway, just to be safe. Mostly because it's already on the way to get food, so we're just like, fuck it, we'll just go and vote. <laughs> and that's how voting should be. It should be convenient. Which is why we need to start giving people time off to go and vote. So lingers the oak ocean. Popular female author Toko Fukawa's most renowned story. Or most renowned something. The long-awaited unabridged version. The love that is far too pure for the main character, me, and the fisherman, you. An indubitable foray into the inner peace of the skillful stroke of a pen. Popular female author Toko Fukawa's most renowned work. The long-awaited unabridged version. Ah, this is... That's right. It's my novel. Got a problem with that? Amazing! No, not at all. I'm really impressed. I've read this. It was sad and really good, too. I can't believe it. You were the writer of So Lingers? Don't mess with me! S so Lingers? You're abbreviating the title of the book I wrote to my face? And of course it's really good. Who do you think wrote it? <laughs> As expected of the ultimate writing prodigy, you sure have confidence. I mean, if you can write a beautiful romance like this, you could definitely marry Byakuya. Are you an idiot? What's written there is pure fantasy. There's no way I can act like that in reality. Oh, really? Hmm. What I write in my novels is my idea of an ideal world. Because I know it will never be reality, I have to write it in, in fiction. Hmm? 
So you write it because you can't have it? But don't most writers write from experience? Nothing. Not necessarily. My theory is that happy people can only write happy, shallow novels. But the downtrodden can vividly imagine their ideal world, a perfectly envisioned true beauty, and that's the spirit I put into my novels. Hmm. Well, I kind of get that, but I kind of don't. Well... But based on my theory, I wonder if I can keep writing interesting novels. Hmm? What do you mean? Like I said... I'm concerned. If I have a friend like you and I'm happy... Could it be? Making friends with me made you a little happier? What? Don't mess with me! No, there's no way a crybaby schoolgirl like you could actually interfere with my writing. You underestimate the intensity of my novels. Aww. You said it yourself. I, I get her on that one. Well, if you're that confident, I'm sure you'll be just fine. anything right the game corner again we need them all to blow break move and dance okay so we got Three marchers and four flyers. The power of good story. She's right, though, yeah. Hmm. What would move do in this situation, though? There's nothing to move. didn't count because I shot two bullets. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's to break the barrier. Why are these break bullets, like, not breaking? Well, it is what it is. Demon name, Mata Fujira, Mata Fujiras. Move one square, yeah. Real name, Fujiko Yamada. A manga artist demon who made Tara Spa. Before you kill it, make it write lots of manga and pu put you in a comic book. And if it complains, choke it to make it do what you want. Likes to draw naked pictures of boy demons, so give it plenty of bodies to draw. Hunting Grounds Toa Bookstore. That face. That is Hifumi's, uh... I'm guessing that's Hifumi's sister. Because, uh, she looks exactly like... She looks exactly like him. Same cheeks and mouth. Good taste in subject to draw, yeah. Oh, we went in a circle, okay. What? No. Huh? Oh, I went through the barrier. those kids were also treated cruelly by their parents. Even if they were, would it matter? Even if their parents were murdered, it doesn't give them the right to kill people. You're right. No matter the reason, this is just unforgivable. It's far too suspicious. And not just that. It's peculiar. I don't doubt the ringleaders had terrible childhoods, but I can't think of any reason for all these other kids to suddenly be motivated to kill. Yeah. So, why are the other children going along with this? I have a bad feeling about this. Well, 
Mortal Kombat 11 DLC is on sale for, sale for 10, 12 bucks on Switch. Who's the base game and DLC? Nice. Mortal Kombat 11 on Switch is actually pretty good. I've heard it runs really well. The Switch Switch ports fall into two categories: either they're awful, or they like run extremely well, like Nier and Persona. Mortal Kombat still lives. Yes, this is the twenty. This is the old one though, like the one that came out a few years ago. I'm not really in the market to buy any more games right now. Um, I've got some expensive purchases I either made or just made, and I'm trying to save money otherwise. But I am going to be getting Sonic and Pokemon when it comes out. And I will be streaming both. Boop, 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 boop. If they bunch up near the car, we can defeat them all in one go. Move, dance, paralyze. Destroy them all with electricity. What? Huh? Played all the ones in arcades. Really fun. Last I heard of it, is it doesn't the one on Switch kind of suck? Uh, doesn't the newest one kind of suck? No, no, no. It's pretty good. It's very grindy, because if you want to, like, get everything for everyone, it's very, like, you know, like, endless grind type game. But if you just want a solid Mortal Kombat fighter, there you go. To be honest, the only fighting game I'm looking forward to... The only fighting game, like, I, this is the thing, I don't play fighters... But, uh, I am looking forward to, uh, Mortal, uh, not Mortal, uh, Street Fighter 6. That game, everything I hear about that game is just amazing. Every, every time they reveal something, like Capcom, I don't know what they're, what they're putting in their, uh, in their cereal in the morning, but it's, it's Street Fighter 6 looks so good. And I, I've never been excited for a fighting game before. Okay, I gotta figure this out. So I have Paralyze. Alright, I need Paralyze to win this. Move to move the things. What do I need Dance for, though? Oh, Dance on that one. Okay, so... Hold on. Do I need to move that car? Hope they bring back Dudley and Q. They're not in the base roster, but you never know. The only Street Fighter games I own are 2 and 4. I own, like, a version of 2 somewhere, and I own 4 on the 3DS. Don't ask me why. Speaking of fighting games, though, I do want to go back to JoJo for another stream or two. Um, they're actually releasing the first DLC character soon. It's going to be Risotto from uh, Part 5, who has the stand Metallica. Or I guess Metallic in English. What the hell am I supposed to do? They're all facing that way. <sighs> hit the thing to make him run over to it, then hit him with dance, and it'll attract the ones behind him. Then I guess I move it and it'll attract the rest of them? I don't know. Alright. Yep, there we go. Okay, once these moved over, then I'll do, uh... Then I'll do move. Damn it! That isn't how that was supposed to work. Didn't even all go over there. Damn it. I'm like really sucking at these. He's by that JoJo game. He used to play Street Fighter 4 on the 3DS. The balance was broken. I I'm not. See, that's the thing. I'm not good at fighting games at all. So I just use the easy combo, which I'll probably do in Street Fighter 6 as well. 
Because here's the thing, I don't grind in games. The, the game, the only game I've grinded in the last, like, year has been, um, Splatoon. Even though I opened a bunch of the wrong ones first. Well, good, because I wasn't planning on helping anyway. Battle skill. Does this one, like, regenerate? Been grinding Fortnite, really want to get the emo cat skin. You know, a lot of people criticize Fortnite. I played the hell out of that game when it came out on Switch. I think I, pl I played it for a good, like, 40 hours. Battle skill. Kamaro can run even when the hacking gun is readied. Ooh, okay. What do I have to... I need, um... I need one point. Let's move precision shot. Oh, cool, yeah. I can actually run now. That's neat. Oh, you know what other game I've technically been grinding? Chocobo GP. Because I, pl I, I usually get the battle pass. Like, it, you don't have to pay for it anymore, but I get the battle pass every month. And just get all the vehicles and stuff. Not every month, every season. Okay. Let's circle around and we're done here. It's like so bad shooter on console. With PC, you're actually decent. Uh, Switch I enjoy because it had the motion controls. It had the gyro aiming, and gyro aiming works so well. As someone who put like over a hundred hours into Splatoon 2, uh, I, I I love gyro aiming in games. It works so well when it's implemented properly. Friend got heartbroken by Chocobo GP. It wasn't good to start. It got better, but it's still not amazing. Water? Uh-oh. That usually means there's a reason for the water. They said this was good against these. Oh uh, yeah, it kinda is, I guess. What's all that over there? Come here. Come here. Oh! SRB2 card is really good, though. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The RPG monger actually did a video on, uh... The RPG monger just did a video about Sonic Robo Blast 2, and he mentions cart in it. He, like, dedicates some time to cart. It's been a while since I've played that. There's the blue building. Really? Battery? I need bullets. God, what is all the- Oh, these are the chambers. I know this. Can have some hummus with that? I actually just had some hummus and chips before I started streaming. The game corner again? RPG man. RPG monger. He's a chocobo. He has a chocobo. Not chocobo. A moogle. Uh, persona. The Monokuma kid has to be hiding here somewhere. Listen for the singing to find the brat. Ow. Be 
careful so we don't get caught. Miss that dessert hummus sample. It sounds weird, but it was so good. Does, do you mean de desert or dessert? Ah, we got caught. Shit. So much for that. What are you doing? The game corner again? <clears throat> the sweet stuff, oh. The Monokuma kid has to be hiding here somewhere. Be careful so we don't get caught. Those don't move. It was pumpkin spice flavored hummus. That's interesting. there. Okay, those two move in a circle, and those three don't move, and this one just moves back and forth. Discount, it's a small world after all, yeah. Actually, beat this. The game corner again. Be careful so we don't get caught. Hmm. Yes, yeah, is nightmare fuel. Wolf bears. This must flash a different color, too, because both times I failed when it's yellow. Oh my god. Idiot. Isn't this more genocide Jack's thing? It it doesn't help that the game does not tell you when with the color, like when it's recognizing them. I should have known better too. The Monokuma kid has to be hiding here somewhere. Be careful so we don't get caught.
Okay, it's gotta be purple one. God damn. The Monokuma's overheated. Break them all. No mercy. Alright, well, that was worth it, I guess. <laughs> Honestly, hard to say at times. Welcome. We got some bling. Endlessly. Erotically. Oh, SP is speed, okay. Interestingly. Painfully. Powerfully. No songs is in Japanese, but some of the lyrics sound very close to actual Spanish, and you're like, what? Bruh. Knockback, hatefully. Knockback? I mean, like, the effect I want is probably just ammo on it. Interestingly... Abundantly. Nope, none of those are excellent, though. Where's Junko? Lo hello, bro. I meant the white and only and black only bear. Oh. <laughs> hey. How you doing? Thank you for the bit. Just always running for mayor, only one candidate, and don't like them for what they said about something. What? Oh. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We gotta rethink this here. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No excellence for that. Why do I even care about knockback? What am I doing? One one fifty forty four. I don't understand. Like I still don't understand because the excellent bonus doesn't always give as much as the other ones, but I always go for it anyway. About people like you and me and stuff. That's all you need to know. Oh, all right. Yeah, no, I understand. I understand what you mean.
We have to find somewhere we can get into the sewer. Hey, Kamaru, before we do that, there's something I Oh, want she said her name right. Hmm? What about? She called her Kamaru. You said, um, your friend? I did say that. Why do you ask? But I've been thinking it over, and I have to tell you, my number one is still master. Um, okay? But something like that, that's no good, right? Thinking you're not as important as someone? Taco, okay. you're an adult. How do you not know do this? Do you know what friends are? Yeah. <laughs> Don't patronize me. It's a relationship where people talk about love and go eat sweets together on weekends, become estranged when one of them gets a lover, then they learn to move past it and have a... Well, that's kind of right, but friends are more like... What? Never mind. I don't know. What the hell? Talk to me here. Well, I don't think you have to really define it right now. Just act like you normally do. But that's just... It's hard for me to accept it. It doesn't feel real. Am I annoying, Kamaru? The way I am now? Don't I annoy you? I, I couldn't be friends. Well, how about this? Can I call you Toki? Who the hell is that? It'll be your nickname. No. Oh, I, I've never been called by a nickname before. Well, other than insults. Never? What did you say? I don't know. What, uh, about what? I hope we get along together, Toki. <sighs> what happened, Toki? Are you okay, Toki? Uh, it, it's fine. I will withstand it. I will go through this horrible friendship ritual. Now, the drink. Say it again. All right, come say on. One more I time. mean, I will not retreat. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Also, that's metal. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. I'm just gonna call you Toko again. Yes, thank you. The friendship was far too intense. How is she a writer and she doesn't understand what friendship is? Look, to be fair, I'm drinking it to take more Advil. So it evens out. It evens out. I'm drinking I'm drinking the unhealthy drink so that I can I can take more medicine. <laughs> Look, this is a toothache arc. I'm not going to be thinking straight, all right? Yes! I did it! Um, what did you do? I killed a child and destroyed a Monokuma all by myself! Toa is safe and how? There's no need to hide anymore! Oh no, this is fucked up. You no longer need to worry about your friends and family being killed. You no longer need to see others killed. <laughs> you should all be grateful. Crying tears of joy that I've saved you all. She's completely gone. My husband and daughter didn't die in vain. Thanks to them, I know Monokuma's weakness. Their deaths have been avenged. Aww. I think it's best to just leave her be. You're right. Yeah, sometimes it's better not to wake up from a dream. Wasn't it a bad idea to do that? Oh. Okay. Looks like we can't go any further. The bomb inside her three. Oh, we got the second one before. Yumi Kayakuda, a girl with a bomb in her womb, cannot love, and yet she is chosen. I want to fall in love with Shota. If I could just fall deeper in love with him, I don't mind if this body of mine burns away. However, a new character who has feelings for Yumi appears. Moto Moto. He likes you. Nikaido. Your life isn't only yours. My love is only mine. A charred body of love or a living doll. Which fate will Yumi choose? The third volume of the fiery love story. But a Toko! Hey, are you the type who likes on? spoilers? What brought this on? Amazing! The third volume of The Bomb is so good. I gotta talk about it. But are you okay with spoilers? Don't mess with me! Okay, how many times do I have to tell you? I have no interest in manga at all. 
So Yoko, the girl from the second volume, tries to stop Yume from giving in to despair. And she says this. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm tearing up just remembering it. Oh, Yumi, Yoko. I'm so happy for you. Hey, K Kamaru, come back to reality. Huh? Did you... You stopped calling me Omaru. Uh, oh, did I? Y you're probably just mistaken. Toko. No, I heard right. I tried to call you Toki, and you knew that, and tried to call me by my name, right? What, you got a problem with that? Think I'm too gloomy to have a character arc? <laughs> no, it's not that at all. It just makes me really happy. Thanks, Toki. <sighs> oh. Sorry, that slipped out on accident. You're doing it on purpose, aren't you? Excuse me, a bomb? Yes, she's like, uh, pause. There was another in her... Fun fact, Paz's uh, spirit in Smash Brothers makes you start a battle equipped with a bomb, which is extremely fucked up. I know it's supposed to be more a reference to Peace Walker, but given what happens to Paz in, in MGS5, really messed up. Link, oh, I f what? Time for tutorial. Looks like you picked up Link. Link is a truth bolt that can control Monokumas by taking over their cyber brains. It's not really fit for combat, but that doesn't mean you could put it to good use. You can't put it to good use. For example, you can link that bomber Monokuma and then use it to break open the wall. You can release a link, but with the C key. Now your hacking gun can actually hack things. Use it lots. Doesn't look like it'd do any damage, but it might be of some use. Link! <laughs> F attack? can't get it. Hold on. So it's, uh, it's literally not hitting. Let's make it stand near the wall and shoot normally. I tried. It didn't... Hold on. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't explode on contact. Oh, wait, yeah, you mean shoot it. Okay. place we can get into the sewers. Oh, look at this. All right. <laughs> I 
Thank you for everything you've done. If you're reading this, it means I'm already dead. I am really, really grateful to you. When I was sad or rotting away at work, you always supported me. If you weren't around, I couldn't even stand up straight. Because I was with you my entire life up until now. All the way until now. It felt like it meant something. I'm grateful to you for supporting me without any complaints. But even so, why? Why did you leave me behind? Why did you desert me in a place like this? Someone like me who can't even stand on his own. Who can't even walk on his own. boy. Health, health, and more health. Oh. Geez, you're a dirty sock. The first time you were inside me, I was fine, but I'm starting to get all loose. Ugh. Why do we have to make it weird? device twice. I won't allow it. Ha ha ha. That means it's gonna happen. Let's see, what else is happening? Uh, not a lot to talk about, honestly. Got through work. Gotta wait till Friday for the dentist. Uh, okay, I see what I gotta do. One second. I knew, I knew I had to, I just didn't bother while I was over there. I don't know what day this week is coming, but a certain plush that I've been looking forward to uh, is going to be arriving. Uh, at my house. After being delayed for over a month. I bring it up because uh, it is related to a certain game that I have streamed in the past that uh, is currently my most watched video on YouTube. I gotta see something here.
Oh. Super quick fire skill. Wait, makes my thing way too quick. Increases laser sli sight move slightly. No, damn it. I hate the menuing in this game. <laughs> Yeah, that's a pain. I don't like that. so surprised to see it. Do you think they will gather around the part of the wall that's gonna collapse? Break, move, dance, and link. Oh, man. All right. All right, I think I know what to do. Link, uh, link the, the exploder, move him over here. Link the alerter, move him over there. Make the alerter dance, go back up here, break the exploder. This one. There we go. Simple as that. Nice work. Thank you. Burn bolts does it take to take one out? Three, it looks like. Nope, oh, four. Alright. I like how it kind of makes an 8-bit explosion noise when you fire it. Yeah, it makes like an 8-bit fire noise. I like that. This game definitely leans into the retro aesthetic sometimes. Isn't it just going to get darker if we keep going? Is it really going to be okay? 
Wait, what? Oh, there's an item there. Memoirs of an adult in the resistance. Just as I thought, Haiji was right. There's a difference between courage and recklessness. My right leg got broken. My friends got killed. I was just a reckless, incompetent person. I wasn't even sent to start a fight, but just to go scouting. I hate them. I hate those brats. From the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of my heart, I want to kill them. I want to fucking kill them all. I would seriously fucking pay to see them die. I want to crush their little beating hearts with my bare hands. I want to pulverize their skulls into dust, even if it takes years off my life. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I want to kill them. I want to kill them. I want to kill them so badly, all I can do is just sit there and cry. Isn't that floor over there about to collapse? That'll be fine. Big brother Leon, 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 Leon, Cloud mode activated. Let's go. Hmm. So Leon, Big Brother Leon, that would be, um, hold on. I don't remember. Yeah, I got some bad news about Leon, buddy. I missed one Saki. I missed Saki 2 somewhere. Look at this. I only found two kids this chapter. How do I keep missing all these? Like, where are they? Successful hunt. Let's toast. You know what I still haven't put on the street at uh, this this deck yet? I might do that one day this week if I'm if I'm not up to streaming. I still haven't put the uh the one that you keep linking me. Newts. I believe. That's you right now, yeah. I mean, that's me with my tooth pain, let's be honest.
Hope he's doing okay. I never really watched Panutes. Four. Maybe you can break it with an explosion? Break, move, and link. Okay. Destroy the floor with an explosion. All right, I see what we got to do here. All right. I just realized you can't lose this one. Maybe you have to start a chain explosion by controlling something? Panute's Kawhi Piranha, yeah. I don't think we need to put it in the middle like that. Or maybe we do, I don't know. I and mean, we have the only option we have is to hit this last one. Rip Pookie, he dead now. Right. Nope, that didn't work. Sea Man ref. I've been very interested in Seaman. I wouldn't mind streaming that at some point. Well, what do I do now? I fucked up. You can retry from the menu. Okay, so you have to reach. So if you fuck this one up, you have to retry it. I knew putting the, the other one right there wasn't a smart idea. It's Probably because the first one doesn't move, that's why. The first one falls on the spot. They trick you into making you think you have to put the, the third Monokuma there, but you have to make it the fourth Monokuma. Seaman, funny word, yeah. Yute Saito made that game. Yute Saito's the guy who made Sim Tower? Sim Tower's a fun game. I would love to stream Sim Tower at some point. That's not a short game, though. I'm also not that good at it. I, ne I, I never got above a four-star tower in Sim Tower. If I put it right here... No, maybe a little closer. Okay, like that. Maybe you have to start a chain explosion by controlling something? Screenshot for this episode, by the way. One minute, 55, uh, or one hour, 55 minutes. Gonna make a note of that so I can quickly grab that screenshot before I go to bed. Two, two into three, three into four, and then four. There we go. Hey, you have to win that one. Wow, that's amazing. You're awfully excited by all that destruction. You're actually a terrifying woman deep down. Toko, look! Looks like we can get down now! Wow, that sure was an impressive show. For a virgin. What, what does that have to do with anything? Rude. Come on, if we go down this ladder, we can get down to the sewers. Yeah, but do you really intend to go back to those guys? We're fugitives, you know? If we go back there, we'll be captured with no questions asked. Well, maybe, but maybe not. Perhaps Which not. one is it? If we explain ourselves, I'm sure they'll understand. We have the same goal. We all want to stop those out-of-control kids, right? Hold on a second. Oh, 
They don't have the clip from G Gundam. Where the first, like, the first villain in the show goes like, Perhaps, but perhaps not. And if it's for that cost... That's what I wanted to play. I bet they'll lend us a hand. And they'll rescue Biakia, too. Wow. You've changed quite a bit. You really think those spineless cowards are going to risk it and cooperate with us? They're gonna risk it for the brisket. Fine. I'm more of a coward than they are, but I'm still doing my best. Well, if you say so, I believe you. <laughs> After all, we're friends. You look really scary when you say that. She yeah, is really scary all the time, scary. ever. Fine. Be that way. Let's just hurry up and get over there. Hey, wait, Togo! I was just kidding! But um bump And now that's comedy. Fooled us from the very beginning. It's no use acting like you don't know. I heard it all. Wow, that was a wind up on that kick Confess. right there. You were lying to us the whole time. <laughs> hey, you guys breaking up or something? Why do that when there's plenty of other shit to break? Like cookies, glassware, the window in that girl you likes house. More than plenty, damn it! Sh shut up! We swore to make this town into a paradise. We promised that we'd change history! And this guy interfered! Changing history? I don't know. You seem pretty hysterical enough to me. I mean, what the hell's with you now? You sound pretty sus right now! Us. You know what, actually? Don't answer that. I want to keep the ratings down. <laughs> Didn't I tell you to shut up? Oh, get all. Ooh, so skinny. And what are you going to do about me? This is your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's all your fault. Don't be mad, Nagisa. The one who sent Mr. Servant on his task was me. Huh? Monica, what did you say? Ahem, like I said, I was the one who asked Mr. Servant to help me. What did you tell him to do? I asked him to bring Miss Kamara Nagi all the way back here. You were lying, right? This is some kind of joke, right? Sorry, it's the truth. Lies, why? Why would you do something like that? Oh, that's too bad. No matter how smart you might be, you still don't understand it, huh? But I guess that's to be expected. I never gave you a proper explanation. Explanation? What are you talking about? What needs explaining? We're going to make a paradise, right? And, and that's why we caused this revolution, right? Monica doesn't care about paradise or anything like that. I just wanted to play a what? game. Oh, I <clears> guess <throat> you can say that the paradise I want and the one you want are different things. Ah, uh, of course. I have no interest whatsoever in the paradise where kids can live peacefully. I just want to do what I want. Stop kidding around, Monica. She's she is that she's Junko 2.0. Sorry, but this is all for the yep. sake of the successor to Junko and Oshima. Huh? Me. Successor. Yes, the second generation of Big Sis Junko. That's what I'm after. My name is different from Mr. Servants. But we agreed to work together at the beginning, so don't get so jealous, Nagisa. I don't understand. What are you talking about, Monica? It's fine, it's fine. You just have to keep doing your best for my sake. Right? For Monica's sake. Just Monica. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I totally stole Nagisa's first kiss. What? what are you doing? You love Monica, right? You can't live without Monica, right? You love me so much. Sometimes you even have perverted thoughts about me, right? Stop! 
stop! Please, stop! You're glad you got to kiss Monica, right? If you work hard, I can do other things too, you know. So you'll listen to Monica's little request, right? Don't come near me! Get away from me! You have such a hard time. Everyone has high expectations. That's it, get the bibble, yeah. You're so smart. This game is really you have fucked up. High expectations for yourself. <clears throat> and you're always suffering from that, right? I said, don't come near me! But Monica won't expect anything of you. What? From the very start, I never expected anything of you. That's why I kept the successor a secret. After all, you're just a weak, weak little child. No one expects anything. Now Nagito just kind of headbanging over there. Maybe nobody ever expected anything of you in the first place. You probably just thought they did. Maybe it was all a misunderstanding. Don't come near me. Get back. Get back. Jeez, Monica, so vulgar as usual. Seriously. Looping slap <laughs> animation. Girl, how uncool. She's bleeding. What? Monica loves how uncool and worthless you are, Nagisa. Monica loves you most in the whole wide world. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! If you want Monica to have high expectations of you, ah. you've got to listen to Monica's oh, requests, okay? For Monica's sake. I was scratching my back and I think I had a pimple on my back. Risk your life for Monica. Somehow that's less disgusting than what's going on in this game. Hey, Toko. What? They've been walking around the sewer so long. You think it'll be okay? What do you mean? Like, is this smell gonna stick to me? I'm starting to worry I'll never get it off. Ah, sorry. You don't want me to talk about smells, do you? No, it's just rude. Oh, this darkness is killing me. I'm sure you're fine with it, being a super girl. Now that's an insult I haven't heard before. Haha, <laughs> sewer girl's like toothpaste boy in Delta Room. I mean, look, I was told- when I went into this game, I was told, yeah, this game's really fucked up and weird. Compared- especially compared to other Danganronpa- which is weird, because Danganronpa in general is already a fucked up and weird series. This is taking it to new heights. I think they figured, okay, well, this is a spin-off. We could be as fucked up as we want to be. A girl's bond. That's for- uh, that had the stun gun on it. Enemy paralysis time increases after despair time. Yeah, sure. More sewers. How to kill demons masterpiece number four. Cut off one centimeter every day so they die super slow. Pour 999 degree water onto their eyeballs to kill them. Stuff them into a dryer and turn it on. Imprison a bunch of them and make them kill each other. Kill them all. Kill, kill, killy, kill, kill. Oh my god, this area is huge! Oh wait, we're back. Never mind. We're back where we were before. Oh, we can't even go this way because there's bodies that have hit the floor. At least it means Spike Chunsaw feels no limits. Companies are generally too restrictive nowadays. Yeah, but I don't know. They're not following us this time, Prince. That's true. I mean, you saw Somnium Files. <laughs> you know how weird that series gets. I don't know if they'll even listen to us. <laughs> My back. I'm sure it will be fine. If we do our best to persuade them, I'm sure it'll work out. <laughs> the former you would have been sobbing and crying out. Don't talk like that! Well, even if you're bound to fail, I'll always proudly watch over you. Yeah, 
just having you here by my side is reassuring. You know I was being sarcastic, right? Ah, right. If you meant it as actual encouragement, then you're the one who's changed. That'd be no good. Having a dirty mouth and a heart of gold is, like, my thing. Uh, wait. Do you hear that? What? S screams? Toko, hurry! The children are gathering. What's going on? They have less limits on stuff after they certain ones. About this. Depends on what you mean. Back in the day, you couldn't even have the red- you couldn't even have a red cross on stuff because they would've sued you for- the Red Cross Association would've sued you for it. Children's Paradise Commandments 4. 1. Inscribe on your hearts the fact that we- the now is the most precious thing we have. 1. Do not kill pets with adorbs faces. 1. Do not lose hope. Anyone who breaks the rules will suffer the punishment. Hide your video games somewhere you'll never find them. They still do. Oh. Well, there you go. Scroll wheel, good, a uh, good workout. Just use a heart instead, yeah. GJ, get in there. Kamaru, Toko, please save everyone. I know. I'm going to do my best this time. Yeah, no blood or smoking either in games. Forgive me. I'll do anything. No, please stop.
that's all of them. At least one person survived. No blood smoking, you know, stuff like that. No boobas, unless you live in Japan, there may be boobas, yeah. Nowadays, they're a lot more lax on that. It's not maybe a U.S. studio, so the laws are probably different, yeah. No, but when they Let's localize it, they still have to... It's all over. Still have to meet the U.S. standards. Yeah, you're right. No, not yet. They want to destroy us all. They won't stop after this. They never will. Never? <sighs> I'm just so tired, I don't know if I can keep up anymore. Um, I have a little proposition for you. Will you hear me out? What kind of proposition? The enemies aren't attacking from the front, but from the hole at the back of the base. To hold out against the enemy attack, we have to find some way to block the hole. Block the hole, but how? To tell you the truth, high explosives are packed inside my body in case of emergency. All right, time to get rid of you. You mean in a suicide attack? But my self-destruct button was damaged in battle. I can't do it on my own. So there's no choice but to ask you to do it. You, you want Kamaru to shoot you so you explode? N no, I can't do it. I mean, I can, this but I don't want to. Everyone, I'm scared too, but it will be all right. It feels strange, but thinking about saving everyone gives me courage. Maybe that's not saying much coming from an AI inside a Monokuma, but it's the truth. And if it's for everyone's lives, then I'm not scared at all. So please. But, but, Bad news. The Monokumas are coming through the hole in the back again. I beg you, please, take me to the hole and let me save everyone. The hole. Shove him right in that hole. Wow, this attack was so hard it moved the buildings. There's anything here. Unexplored territory. Yeah, bear, bear teleport. I almost said bird teleport. <laughs> oh, these are the cells that we were being kept in before. Kamaru, now's your chance. Shoot me. No, no, I, I can't. I can't do it. Kamaru? No matter how scared you are, 
There are times that you have to fight. There are times you need to stand up. Times you can't be afraid of death. Do it before we lose something important. Shirakuma. But if you still think you can't... I'm gonna kill you! Shoot me! Shoot me, Komaru! Oh, that actually does damage me. I'm sorry, I know that's an emotional moment, but Toko getting launched by explosion is something that happened in the first game as well. And it also happens to a character in the second so game. Awake. You guys lost consciousness after the explosion. It, it, it happens to her towards the end of the first game, when she's in Genocide Jack form. And it also happens to another character at a similar point in the second game. So it's kind of like a running gag that she always gets caught up in an explosion somewhere. Where's Shirokuma? What happened to him? Thanks to Shirokuma, the hole was blocked. His sacrifice saved us all. Sacrifice? That means... All I need is the CO2 that Master exhaled. I, I can't live on just that. Toko. Oh, she's alright. She's in a stupor. I know AIs typically sacrifice themselves in situations like this, but I didn't think... To break out of jail and come back here. <laughs> you have some courage. You? But we're the ones who saved you. You should be thanking us. Well, most of the thanks goes to Shirokuma. Though I am willing to acknowledge that you're not spies. That's Wait, do they do AI uh, sacrifice themselves? Yeah, I don't know. Now's not the time for this kind of argument. When they gain sentience, yeah. Shirokuma, we're out of danger for now. The problem's far from solved. What's going on? The hold those brats open is closed now, but we have Monokumas at the front entrance. We can hold them off for a little while, but if this keeps up. So we're running out of time. Damn mm. it! Do they really intend to destroy this base at any cost? So what are you gonna do? You gonna wait for an opportunity, as usual? Haiji, if we don't do something now, Stop we... being a little bitch about I know. it. I know. I know. No matter how scared you are, there are times when you have to fight. Huh. There are times when you need to stand up and not be afraid of death. We have to do something before we lose something important. Toko. Lend me your hand. Huh? Uh, okay. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. I said I'd lend you a hand, not be your stepladder. <laughs> Just imagine I'm Biakia. Uh. Hey, what are you doing? Attention, please. Um, uh, I don't have any talent. If only she had like a megaphone or I'm something she could speak girl. through. Not special or anything. And I know you guys don't have any reason to listen to someone like me. But, but 
Well... How do I put it? There's something I want to say. Because... I'm a normal human with no talent. Baba Booey? I have that. Um, I can give you that. I can give you a Baba Booey. Hold on. I, I'm Baba sorry. Booey. I, I really don't know how to put it. Hey, Kamaru. Togo, what do I do? Why are you asking me? You didn't plan this out? Then what are you up there for? Yeah, I... I don't really know. I just did something now, sporadically. Let me just say this. Sporadically, spontaneously. I'm with you. So do your best. Toko. Yeah. I. I'm just like everyone here. I got caught up in something I didn't understand at all, and I couldn't do anything. So I. I guess I'll just say to you what I wish I said to myself. Hey, how much longer are you going to be just another victim? Huh? You're normal. You're weak. How much longer are you going to use those damn excuses? You're just happy to be a victim and ignore everything around you. Are you really okay with that, you coward? Talent or whatever, that doesn't even matter. No matter how much talent or power you have, you can't avoid being scared or hurt. You let everyone else handle things that scare you and say, I can't help it, I'm normal. Are you really gonna stay that way forever? Maybe you can't help being normal, but you can't just keep using that as an excuse. If you do, if you do, someday, you're gonna lose something that's important to you, you know? And after that, it'll be too late. It's obvious that we're all afraid. I'm just as scared as you are, but even though I'm afraid, I know I made the right decision to stay here with Toko. Because if I just went and left her, I think I would have regretted it. Kamaru? I, along with Toko and everyone here, want a happy ending. A proper happy ending. That's super cliche and predictable, where everyone's smiling. So please. Please, let's make that ending happen. Let's stand up against this despair together. That, that's it. That's all I have to say. Sorry for being so loud. Well, feel stupid now. You just got told by a normal high school chick. Wait here. I'm going to make some preparations. Preparations? For what? From my well, butt. A Trump card. Preparation H. You might as well bet the house on Sorry, it. I have nothing to add to this conversation. Oh, Togo. I feel like one of those lame kids who try to motivate everyone and fail completely. Eh, it was good enough. Not bad for your first try. Hell, I even feel a little impressed. Really? Though it was painful to listen to. So it was awful. But it looks like you were able to motivate the cowards here a little bit. You inspired me. I never expected you to start a speech like that. Oh, I'm sure I'll try to forget this ever happened later. But, you know, you might be right after all. Huh? Ooh, wait, hold on. What's that you're holding? I have to appear to be a baby bitch. It's Shirakuma, Wow, we're up to adult course. X. Kamaru and Toko. Thank you for earlier, and your speech just now was splendid. Oh, too. hey, you're still alive. Shirakuma, you're alive? The only thing left is my head, but my AI chip is in there, safe and sound. Cool. It's a miracle. <laughs> it's not exactly a triumphant resurrection, but here I am, nonetheless. I heard you sacrificed yourself, so I thought. Well, that was pretty misleading. But. I'm relieved. If you're alive, then everything's fine. <sighs> Looks like you made that traumatizing speech for nothing. Then. No. Was it that bad? No, no, it was great. I feel like you gave everyone a little light of hope, but it's still a small light. In order to make it grow, we need to do something more. Time to cultivate hope. Hey, the preparation's done. We gotta hurry and get out of here. Sh it's it's Shin Megami Tensei Force true ending all over again. Looks like he's finally gonna start fighting back. Is it true, Haiji? It's all thanks to you, Shirokuma. 
You risked your life for us. I finally realize what I need to do. So thanks, Bear. Hi, G. Looks like your speech wasn't that memorable. Huh? Don't say that. From here on, I want you two to follow me to a certain place. It's where our game-changing trump card is hidden. But it's not gonna be easy. You guys better prepare yourselves. Well, I guess I hardly have to tell you that. Do we have a place where I can restock I'm bullets? For you at the entrance. No? Okay. Can you be an ad adult mongooses? What? Tell you what, you could be a, a sheep. speech earlier. You were so cool. You spoke so well I got goosebumps. You've really grown since I first met you. <laughs> no, not really. The reason I was able to act so cool is because of the sacrifice you made, Shirokuma. <laughs> so I was that cool, huh? But you're still much cooler than me. No, no, you are much more cool. What's going on? So how much longer are you gonna keep up this modesty battle? Right. Comes a time when a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Your speech really touched my heart, lady. Um... Oh, did I actually, like, say anything like that? Hmm. Well, I remember it being something like that. Wow, we already forgot what we just did. We're me. It's literally me. Yes, you could be a sheep. Beep beep, you're a sheep. Master Haiji meant when he said he had a trump card. No. Beats me. First I've heard of it either. Shouldn't you just ask him? It's far too suspicious. He's had plenty of chances to use a trump card before now. Why'd he even tell any of the other adults about it? Oh. Who knows, but it is Haiji after all. I'm sure the man has secrets. Hmm. Secrets, huh? Hmm. I hope those secrets don't come back to haunt us. Okay. Yep, you guys are just like I thought you'd be. Thanks to you two, the atmosphere of this place has really brightened up. It was creepy before. Really? I don't think we made that the place that much brighter. Hmm. She doesn't mean it like that. She means the mood of the place. She's saying that you and Shirakuma, thanks to you... Uh, she, she, she's saying that thanks to you and Shirakuma, the ambience here has improved. Yeah. Exactly right, Fufu. You're good at explaining stuff. Anyway, thanks, guys. So she calls her Fufu, and she's fine with it. But Kamaru calls her Toki, and she has a mental breakdown. <laughs> Shirakuma deserves most of the thanks. Maybe, but you were pretty courageous yourself, you know? Well, if you say so, thank you. Just kidding. There, was that so hard? But I gotta say, compared to your sad face, you're much cuter like this. Alright, did you find any more of those list of people with the wristbands? Isn't Fufu supposed to be, like, laughing or something? Yes. Should I hand over hit list to Miss Hagakure? Totally is. There's no mistaking it. This has to be her. What's going on? What are you talking about? <clears throat> Ayaka Hanayama. It's Ayakas. Hmm. Ayakas. You know her, Coco? Not personally. She's Ayakas, the Iron Guardian deity from that National Idol group. You don't recognize her? Her catchphrase is "Rock you like Ayakas." Hmm. Ah, I remember. I saw her on TV before. That idol group with Sayaka at the center. I see. Right. Her group. Bringing in the cash from gullible idiots like Kamaru. She can't be that talented. Togo. Hey, did you just make fun of Sayaka? Ugh. I was making fun of you. Jeez. Pick on me as much as you want, but don't you dare pick on my favorite idol. Ooh. Huh? Your favorite? 
If you must know, I'm a Sayaker. What? Sayaker? Sayaka has over 100 million fans. That's what we call ourselves, Sayakers. Which is really weird because your brother, her brother, uh, blah, 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 Makoto, knew Sayaka in grade school. So how does Komaro not realize that? Like, does Komaro not realize that her brother used to be friends with her? I shouldn't have to tell you that. You do not want to make enemies of... The, I, I shouldn't have to tell you that you do not want to make enemies of us. So what kind of things can these Sayakers do anyway? Well, nothing specific. We're just people who like Sayaka and cheer for her. In my case, I buy CDs and merch with my monthly allowance. And guess what? Oh yeah, she knows. Sayaka and Makoto went to the same middle school. Isn't that amazing? Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Aww. But anyway, why is Ayakasa in a place like this? All right. Miss Hagakuri, I put my faith in you for Sayakers everywhere. Jeez. Well, I'll do my best. Sayaka was the very first person to die in the Danganronpa series. Fujiko Yamada. Th th that's impossible! What happened? Are you choking? Vacuum! Get the vacuum! No, this woman. It says she's the author of Tara Spa. What? Tara Spa? Spa? What's that? Hmm. It says she's a manga artist, so it must be the title of a manga, right? Not just any manga. A manga masterpiece! The drawings of food are so well done, it said that reading it will make you start to drool. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I saw my son reading it. So Teacher Second Fry was just a pen name for this woman. What a shocking scoop. Jeez, where did this enthusiasm come from? This is big news. Huge news. The end of the century is the next generation of Space Wars news. What? That. Well, if she's that famous, I kind of want to meet her. There's an opportunity I'll be sure to get an autograph. Thank you very much. Oh, make sure it isn't addressed to me. That'll make the value go way down. That's exactly what you would say if you were going to sell the thing. Togo. There's no way I'd sell it. Don't downplay my respect of manga artists. What's going on? Y you don't have to take it so seriously. This is a cat, right? I'm not going crazy, am I? <laughs> nope, that's definitely a cat. You're right. It's a cat. Hey, hey. Whoa, why was that so loud? Well, shit. Never thought a cat would end up a target. Well, those brats weren't originally responsible for kidnapping the captives, but they're still going to use this cat as a target? Uh, that's pretty messed up. <laughs> and check out the name, Grand Boy Something. That's one hell of a name. Yeah, I can't tell if it's fancy long or gaudy long. It's lame is what it is. That cat owner sucks at naming. Mm -hmm. Do you know who owns this cat? Hmm. Do I? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Well, even if it's just a cat, I can't let the kids get it. I'll send someone over. If that cat makes it all the way home, its owner won't be waiting for it. Hmm? Hmm? Did you say something? Nothing. Nothing. I just think this cat has a bad personality, that's all. I think she knows it's Celestia's cat. I couldn't hand this one over before, but now I guess I can. Hmm. Apparently he's around Toa Tower. Did you guys run into him? Aww. We did, but before we went up the tower... <sighs> this doesn't sound good. <sighs> yeah, it wasn't. He was attacked by a Monokuma and killed right in front of us. Unforgivable. God damn it, those little shits have no right. No, not just the kids. No one has any goddamn right to kill anyone. I gotta rake those brats over the friggin' coals. I see. His name was Taichi Fujisaki. You're right. Yeah. Aww. He was a good man. A devoted father. He sure was. I hope his daughter is okay at least. Yeah. I think she's doing just fine. 
Nope, they're dead. Even you can't make something out of nothing, right? Something tells me I still missed something. I could use a healthy dose of refilling my, my stuff right now. At the very least, I need more uh, health and b battery. It looks like the Monokumas are easing off a bit. Now's a good time to head out. Those headphones are so conflicted on them. Why? What's wrong? Didn't I tell you? place where our trump card is hidden and just what the hell is this trump card and why didn't you say anything about it earlier i'm not trying to be cryptic it's just hard to explain in words but i can it's restock your move bolts by thinking about it eyes. i have unlimited move bolts then you'll understand i promise that's Jeez, the joke you sound like some manga protagonist from the 90s you don't read manga toko anyway it's our last hope for stopping the kids before it gets any worse if there's one thing i know for sure this is our last shot. Does something like that really exist? I'm telling you because I trust you guys. And I need you two to trust me as well. Ah, so not only are you chicken, you're also a narcissistic bastard. Bam! Getting there is going to be a problem. Let me think. You look like you're in better shape than her. I'll leave this to you. Me and Four Eyes will go in the back. It'll be cramped, but... I'll have to deal with it for now. What do you mean, leave it to me? Listen, it's important that you don't freak out. If you don't, we should be fine. That's not an explanation. Didn't he just say not to freak out? I don't really get it, but you should prepare yourself. Wait! I haven't mentally prepared myself yet! Enough with the complaints. Let's just go. Why is she riding the motorcycle? Let's go! <laughs> I thought you'd be the one freaking out, Kamaru. I've never ridden one of these before. This is so fun. Why is Kamaru the one driving? She doesn't even have a license. I can't drive with my arm like this. It's not like cops are gonna pull us over or something. Y you're right, but... Hey, listen. We never know when the Monokumas might attack next. Let's speed it up. Roger! All right, we're here. I'm gonna turn you over to the bad guys. We are? Where are we? Uh, are you taking us to a secluded spot to, to do stuff with us? If that's your plan, hurry up and get it over with. I won't resist. Oh, go. Um, no, that's not what I was thinking at all. Especially not with you. I, uh, I like him younger. As young as possible. Actually, can I leave now? Anyway, it's time. Careful of where you stand. If you talk, you might bite your tongue. Why does everyone in this game have to be a fucking creep? Is this an elevator? You'd never expect such an elaborate machine here, right? That's how you know it's important. This is Toa Group's secret factory, after all. Secret factory? This place was restricted to top executives only. During emergencies, the restrictions get tougher. Now, the only ones who can move this elevator are me and my old man. I see. So not even the brats can get into this place. you already it's our last hope and it's deep inside this factory however we do have a bit of a problem it's the reason i was hesitant to come here in the first place what just say it in order to deter intruders and thieves our family uses monokumas to guard the area monokumas 
Ever since the riot, we haven't been able to contact the office that controls them. To what I can guess, the Monokumas here had the control functions broken. That they would even attack me like I was any other adult. Yeah, use okay. the enemy's robots again and in as gar bodyguards. That works. Here in the first place, didn't the kids bring them? Yeah, I expected this reaction, but you'll know the answer to that question as well once we're through here. Uh oh. You, you're being awfully suspicious. Oh man, I'm tempted yeah, to just cap that at wait. sus and. I don't even think so myself. Make that the thumbnail, but I really like well, the uh, the other thumbnail of the Monokuma's lined I'm up. Begging you. You two are the only ones who can make it through here. You have to help. There's no way I can do it alone. But I'm not just going to abandon the hope that's in here. I took your words to heart. But I need to fight back. No giving up. Haiji. Toko, why don't we just try going there for now? I mean, we've gone this far already. He does anything I don't like along the way. I'm turning around and leaving. That sounds fair to me. The trump card is deep inside this factory. We need to take the elevator to the yeah. bottom floor. I, I'm thinking the same thing, honestly. Oh, this is a whole facility. All right, we're not beating this tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm only going for like another 16 minutes here. There's absolutely no way in hell we're finishing this tonight. This chapter, I mean. What? Be careful. If you touch the lasers, the alarm goes off. You should have said that earlier. That's a shiny looking Monokuma. Defeat the siren Monokuma, or else he'll just keep coming. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. Be careful. Don't get caught in the lasers, okay? Trust me, I know. What was the incident all about? Though the tragedy had that painted the world with despair showed signs of calming after the death of the ringleader, it is not completely settled. However, in the light of current events, shouldn't we look back at what the tragedy can teach us and prepare for preventive measures? A thorough investigation to the worst, most despair-inducing incident of the history of mankind. Which reminds me... You were adopted around the time the incident was escalating, right? So I can assume that you haven't really experienced that incident. Well, by the time I was abducted, the world was already pretty messed up. The crime rate was high and the war had started. Seven of my classmates had died. What? Do you mean they were killed by despair? No. I'm not really sure if they died, but one day all seven of them went missing. And a little while after, someone mailed a package to the school. Thirty-five fingers were inside. That's horrible. They never ended up finding them. There's no way they're still alive. Because I went through that, I'm worried about my parents. If your brother were here, I'm sure he'd say something like this. Do not lose hope. I see. Hope. Yeah, you're right. It's not like I know for sure Checo or my parents are dead. Huh? Checo? Oh, my friend who disappeared. Her name was Chieko. Oh, you had a nickname for her. Yeah, she was a pretty close friend after all. I see. Your friend, Chieko. Could it be? Are you jealous? What? Of course not. Don't even think it. Why would you be jealous of a girl with a big brother complex like you? Stop it! I told you, I don't have a big brother complex. <laughs> I'm sure you're just hiding it from me. Your favorite thing to say is, I love you, big bro. I also can't abandon the idea that you two eat all your food by mouth to mouth. Jeez, that's way past the big brother complex at that point. Power 
paralyzed bullets. That's good. Those are rare. Damn it. I tell you to be careful. Shut it. Thank you for making. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. I would have been upset if I had not noticed that. I see. That door over there opens when someone steps on the switch. Hmm. All right, four eyes, step on the switch. Then Kamaru and I can go through. That would leave me behind. Damn, here they come. We gotta run for now. Hey! I know. We can use a Monokuma to press the switch. Ah. Never mind, they're here. Don't worry, they could phase the walls. Kamaru's the only one who actually has to use the door. Making some kind of machine? Looks like Memoirs of a factory employee. The moment I saw that business proposal, time just stopped. I understood immediately. In the end, I was just a frog in a well. But even so, just thinking about being involved in this kind of work makes me shudder with excitement. I want to pour my life into this job. If this gets to the public, the life of every human on the planet would be more well off, and we will work tirelessly to make this work. I'm sure someone will complain, bringing up safety concerns with the fact that my, the inner body is extraordinarily resilient, but it won't be a problem. I don't lend an ear to boring naysayers. There is a standalone. Nice. Do some health, though. I know it's a little earlier. Well, it's about 10 minutes earlier than I wanted to end, but I think I'm going to stop here. Because I don't know where the next save point is. If it's not in that... It's probably not in that room over there. And uh, I don't want to get caught in a long thing. I need to kind of wrap it up early. Just because I'm not feeling super great because of the mouth pain and stuff. I'm 
go ahead and uh, clear these out. Good use of my time. Always best to, yeah, toothaches are not fun, yeah. Cool. Alright, let me head back. I mean, by the time I finish talking, it's two, 254, by the time I finish talking, it's gonna be like 256, 257. <laughs> Before I finish doing my spiel. Always best to rest of your unwell. Toothaches are not fun. It was fun, you're a cool streamer. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you all coming. Yeah, and, you know, as always, thank you. Thank you everyone who came by and followed and even cheered a bit or two. I appreciate it a lot. It's not necessary, but thank you. Um, I will, I don't know if I'm going to finish this tomorrow, because I think I might be a little too far behind, but we'll see. Finishing it this week is the main priority, so I'll try to come back tomorrow and, and do as much of this as I can. Um, if you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandon. Plenty of people streaming there right now. Um, again, don't know how the next week or so of stream, same time, just about midnight or so, EST. Um, I don't know how the next week or so of streams is going to go, just or week or two, just because of, again, the pain that I'm going through, and also, uh, just I don't know when it's going to be, when that tooth's going to get removed. So, we'll see. I can tell you for sure that Friday and Saturday this week I will not be here. But, um, yeah, that's really all I can say. This game is, uh, ramping up in terms of, uh, how fucked up it is, which is cool, I guess. <laughs> but that's all I got, all I'm really going to say tonight. Uh, thank you again for coming. I'll be back hopefully tomorrow. And uh, yeah, check out Wild Abandon if you want to watch more streams. Thank you. Have a great evening.